This weekend, hundreds of people will take part in America's toughest road race. Yeah, the title comes from Roanoke's mountainous terrain. It's a challenge for mm -hmm. just about anybody who runs it. But for one cancer patient who has her mindset on stepping across the finish line, it's, uh, it's an even bigger challenge. Absolutely, and she'll do so with the support of her doctors and teammates. WSLS 10's Bree Jackson has the inspirational story. She goes, pick up the pace. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? Betsy Parkins says she won't oh, let really cancer yeah. slow her down. Oh, wow. I was diagnosed with breast cancer about four years ago. And uh, in that time period, then I was also diagnosed with colon cancer. Since then, she's been through rounds of chemo and needed several surgeries. Despite setbacks, she remains optimistic. Cancer patients just, they have a lot of challenges, but you still, I mean, you still have to live your life. She now has her sights set on competing in this year's Blue Ridge Half Marathon. Each year, hundreds of people come to Roanoke to take part in what's become a bucket list race. Parkins volunteered at Carillion's water tent last year and became inspired. I was so surprised about the number and the types of people coming through. I thought, this is something I can do. I really want to do it. Never done it before. From then, she made it her goal to take part in this year's race. But first, she needed permission from her oncologist. And she said, I'm going to run the Blue Ridge Marathon. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> and uh, she's just the wrong person to try to disinhibit if she gets her mind set on things. So Betsy's a very inspiring person. And under the guidance of Dr. Fintel, Parkins began preparing for the race. When she's up, she's at it. When she doesn't feel well, she knows to work out three minutes and go lie down. But as soon as she starts to get her mojo back, um, you know, you get out of her way, she's going to go do it. As part of her training, she ran nine 5K races in 2015. With the support of her colleagues at Carillion, she saw her finishing times and confidence improve. They're helping me get this done. Sorry. And they're giving me the best gift ever. They're helping me realize my goal, and I wouldn't be able to do it without them.